our area, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, like we're always in the sheds when we're sharing. Well, we're you, so you share them. On them and yeah, we always monitor what goes on. Animals get injured. Do they, do they get? Yeah, you have to share them because they've, share, they've been yeah. selectively bred to produce more wool, ha wool, haven't they? These sheep. Merinos. Like over time, they've been bred to produce more wool than they usually would in like a natural circumstance. Like. Oh, not in the last, not in the last 150 years. Not in Australia. They're not yeah. bred for wool. Um, but what do you breed them for? Oh, uh, look, we. Um, do you use them for meat or something? You kill them for just, meat? Yeah. They get sold to meet weathers do, the weathers do, and then the rest, they're a part of our dig program, so they're a part of our, like, our cropping program, so they help to keep weeds down and they help us with our rotations of our paddocks so that we've got good soils and... You don't send them to slaughterhouses or...? Yeah, we certainly, well our weathers yeah. certainly do yeah. go to slaughterhouses. So do you know, what, so from when you put and them I've on that... I've been to the Whamco one and say... And you've seen what happens to them in the slaughterhouse? Yeah, but it didn't you can't keep an eye on them every single guess, animal. I that guess that's you can't keep an eye on them the whole time, yeah. can you? And you can look after them as well as you, yeah. think, but not everybody obviously does. When we that. send them to the slaughterhouse, they're essentially getting either bolt gunned in the head or electrically stunned, and then they're having their head cut off and sliced into pieces. Mm. So, from the animal's perspective, we don't think it's necessary, like when we can live perfectly healthy without um, eating animals or using animals. I mean, there's other ways we can make money too. We try, we try to uh, talk to farmers about alternatives. Alternatives instead of, you know, using these animals for their bodies. You know how intelligent sheep are and that they feel pain, they want to live. They'd probably be terrified in a place of slaughter. There's blood everywhere. It smells of fear and feces in there. I've been inside a slaughterhouse. It's not a very nice place. Um, I I think some are certainly uh, better than others and the ones that like Whamco, their standards are extremely high because they're specifically for international top quality meat. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's slightly different. Yeah, they yeah, say that. They yeah. say their standards are the best in the world, but yeah. do they adhere to their standards all the time? Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? But even, let's talk about the best standard for killing animals, the, the, the height of humane slaughter. Let's talk about that. Even then. The animal is losing their life, at a very, very short life they have, in in relationship to the, the you know, cows live to 20. How long do sheep live to? How long do oh, sheep live? To? Uh, you know, can live to 10, 11 10, years. 10, 11 years. Yeah. And when, when do they get killed? Around half their age or oh, two years old? It depends. Yeah. Depends. Say three years old. Yeah. yeah. So still really old, young. Yeah. yeah. Or, you know, then later on, it just depends, yeah. Yeah, so from the individual animal's eyes, I mean, it's... it's hard, so it's hard. Yeah. Three, you know, it's hard, so you're a vegetarian, so... No, no, no. You're not vegetarian? No, because, it, so because the egg and dairy industries, obviously, they kill all their animals, they exploit all their animals, and we're vegans, we don't use anything from animals. Yeah. Oh, so you're vegan? Yeah. Yeah. So everyone here is vegan? Yeah. yeah. It's okay. policy, we don't... You can't advocate for... Animals Which without without Which using their bodies or yeah. Which makes sense. yeah yeah. What do you think about it? Honestly, um, be honest. I don't mind. Like I've heard everything. Like if you if be completely straight oh, up. And, I just get really. I do get frustrated yeah. as a farmer. Yeah. And some of the films and stuff that get shown from Peter are complete and utter bullshit. And that they're, they're doing the wrong thing by themselves because farmers, good farmers, support Peter. And then they're showing um, like dummies instead of like sheep. I don't know if you Do you saw. have evidence for that? Yeah, they have. They got pulled up on it. Did you say Showing it? dummies? There was on, it was on Facebook and they put forward this, this footage um, and saying that it was a sheep. So but do you wasn't. think any of these are dummies? No. no okay, so if this no, is happening even yeah. once, yeah. even once in this industry, then the whole industry is what? No, it shouldn't affect the whole industry. But I like, don't agree if, with that. Like, do you think that a bolt gun in the cow's head if they had a beautiful, happy life, do you think that that, at the end of the day, is humane? I think it's probably, um, 
that, that that's a better way. Wouldn't you prefer that than they were slaughtered slowly? Yeah, but would you say that that's humane? Like, I would. There to are show... cases on our farm when, when animals are hurt and injured that we actually have to do that, and it's not a nice job. Yeah. But you know, and the vet will tell you something. That you have to kill the animal. Say, really, we've got, you know, the yeah. best option here is to euthanize. Yeah. It's not is that what nice. these animals are getting done? No, but I'm saying yeah. so. So you're saying about making it sound dramatic as a bolt in the head, but, but to be honest... It's like getting shot be, in the head, really, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, but then we put down other animals. Well, that, that are suffering. Yes. So, that, so that's when it becomes justified. Yeah, but But if they're not suffering, like, do you think... But it's, it's, it's a quick way, so it's yeah. not a bad way, it's a quick way. Do you know what the word humane means? It means to show compassion. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in one sense, it's showing, it is showing compassion rather than because there's a worse because there's a worse way than yeah. then it makes it yeah. humane. Or what if there was uh, like if we let them live? That's what we're that's what we're asking. We let them live. We don't use them. We don't breed them into existence to use their families yeah. and separate them. You know, like. And look, you know, so I hear what you're saying. It's just it's um. Well, it's, it's probably part of your. We've been eating meat for thousands, millions. I know. Millions. I know. So We've been killing each other for so, millions of years as well. Mean, you, you know, like I guess we used to eat a lot of meat, like my, our parents' generations, didn't they? It's all passed Both. down, tradition. And we don't now, like we would have two or three you know, nights a week where we, we just, we have vegetarians. Yeah. But in their day, so it is... It it's is, progressing. It is progressing, yeah. But, um, the thing is, if no one bought lamb, you wouldn't be growing these sheep on your property, hey? It would make my it would make it harder, but then in one you would sense, choose something but else? in one sense, it's better off that I'm doing that because I'm not having to spray the amount of chemicals that farmers without that do because mm. they have to control weeds. That we're doing a, a more um, we're doing crop rotation and, and looking yeah. after the, the land as well. Yeah. So you know, gee, I understand. Like, farmers are like brought up into this sort of farming I wasn't culture, a farmer, you know. I was you know, I have a degree in agriculture, yeah. and business agriculture, but you know, I wasn't brought up on a farm. So. Yeah. Um, Do you think that there, there could be a, a more ethical alternative than a bolt gun in the head for these animals? Say, not using them at all, and, and maybe alternatives for farmers even that could be just as lucrative? Because I don't know if there's that much money in, you know, animal farming really. Like, chickens are worth 50 cents each or something like, you know? See now, okay, so you don't need eggs either. No. But I was thinking about chicken farming. I thought that was pretty cool. And I'll take them out into a big paddock and they can run and you get the Mara dogs to look after them. And they, you know, they're not in these bloody sheds yeah. that they're in now. Well, that's better. That's, but it's... I mean, we're giving them, the, what do they say, um, free range? Free range is, um, our house chooks have got more than a free range as well. Yeah. Free range is a free range. That's a ridiculous I know. I know. There's no real framework. Ridiculous. Sounds around. really cool, and it's and really if, not. If, yeah, they it's can keep them in not. sheds and stuff with free range. Like, if we steered away from using animals at all, like we wouldn't be trying to find this humane way of doing the wrong thing. Because all all chickens, when they stop producing eggs, they don't go off to some happy sanctuary. Yeah. They get killed for meat. Do you know what I mean? When they're not of use to us. At the farm, they don't. I just let them live yeah. their life. You've got <laughs> a few in the backyard, yeah. The Love rule the is, children. yeah. They like family pets. If they didn't lay eggs, would you still have them? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I like them. Yeah, yeah. But you, cool. do you eat chickens? Yeah, but yeah. I wish that I. Yeah. I actually wish that I ate my own chickens rather than eating the chickens. The ones shop. that you love. Well, yeah. Well, not love, but do you know? I think that's better because all the hormones and shit that's going into yeah. these other chickens, and I don't know their life. So you're you're looking at I, it from a health perspective, yeah, not from the everything. chickens' perspective. Like what if they just lived know, out their is, life? This is a yeah, it's very like a, controversial it's thing. A, I know. That, no, I'm comfortable talking to you about it. I'll just tell you how, what I no, think and how it is. Totally. And you're telling me I've heard. I've heard. Yeah. I, I used to think the same way, like not too long ago. But then I started looking at it through their eyes, and I like changed. It changed a lot the way I see things. Because like, mm. if that was me there, how would I want to be treated? Would I think that that's humane? Probably not. You know, like so. I understand, like we. They also don't like. They really don't have the same brain capacity that we do. They, they you just have don't. to prove. You have to provide evidence for that because I've seen cows learning their name, coming when they're called. They, they. Oh, they I've seen cows crying on a slaughterhouse truck on the way to be killed. 
but I've stood out the front of a slaughterhouse with a gas chambering pigs and heard them scream for scream like terrified children in these gas chambers that they claim is to be the most humane method yeah. in Australia. So the most humane method for stunning pigs in Australia is it's, well, it's uh, Victoria, South Australia. They would have them in Perth. I'm not too sure about Perth though. But, um, I don't know. Do you know where pigs get killed in Perth? Or in There's two types, there's the, the forks and it's a bit harder because they, they run around and it's harder to, to effectively stun them. But what they do is they put them in this cage, um, where is it? It's like it's called a gondola, it's a cage and they drop them down into CO2 gas. And they used to think that they just fell asleep but some activists went in there and left cameras in there and they realised that these, they were thrashing and screaming and terrified. And what was happening is the CO2 reacts with the uh, saliva and like moisture inside their bodies and it creates like carbonic acid and uh, they're burning from the inside out in their last moments. So horrible way to go but that, that is the height of humane slaughter in Australia, UK, worldwide for pork. Without those cameras we would never have known that, we would have just thought sleeping gas, you know?